travel around, you know, you know, to all the regards we go to, we are known as the fun team. <laughs> um, all the umpires think we're, you know, pretty comical, and on the boat we usually have a lot of smiles and laughing a lot, and um, talk a lot of smack, and pretty much make a scene wherever we go. So that's part of the fun that we have. Well, we're the best looking team, so we got to kind of hold that down. And I think we're doing a pretty good job because then you know, we walked in there and we saw a whole bunch of old umpires, but we didn't see any other competitors looking quite as sharp as us. And that's just something we like to make sure that we you know, keep that keep that on our turf. I have a really good crew here. I'm very happy that they came with me. Um, I have my daughter, Becca, who is a very good match racing sailor herself. And then I have uh, Debbie Capozzi and Stu McNay, both of whom were members of the U.S. sailing team Sperry Topsider. And they're, um, this is Stu's first match race, but he's obviously a very, very good sailor since he's been to the last two Olympics for the U.S. And uh, Debbie did the whole match racing thing that I coached her with uh, leading up to this Olympics. So I'm very happy and comfortable having her on the boat with me. The boats are paired up now and the boat, the boat speed is quite even between the pairs, but the boats are rigged pretty differently. So <clears throat> each boat, you have to adjust what you're doing uh, to sail the boat. For example, the main sheet uh, turning block is in front of the traveler in some boats and in back of the traveler in others. First time uh, coming to Marblehead. So far, it's been pretty fun sailing. Uh, pretty good breeze. The only thing that we don't like is uh, the boats. Are we've had a breakdown on every boat we've had since the beginning of the regatta. So kind of a kind of a bummer with that. But all in all, great sailing and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I like the sonars a lot for match racing. I think uh, they're sort of the right uh, displacement. I mean, they're heavy enough, they're light enough, so they're sort of quickly maneuverable, but they're heavy enough that you can't just spin on a dime and escape. And you really have to think about momentum and keeping your speed and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty good. It's good for an old guy like me to sail a sonar rather than a high, super high performance boat or something. It's going at my speed.
We had a quarterfinal with Don Wilson. Um, the first race, they got the favored left side of the course. The wind went left and they were just able to extend the whole way. Um, <clears throat> so we had to buckle down a little and win the next two, uh, which we did. The final race we won in the fog, so that was good. I believe that uh, Taylor gets to pick his who he sails in the semifinals tomorrow. And I have a guess who he's going to pick, but I'm just going to wait and see who he picks. And I think we'll just mentally get prepared to race a lot of hard races against whoever we end up sailing against. So.